Now, the lines for six through nine are um, separated by commas and, and dashes. So these are complex sentences. And so, but what I'm going to do is, um, I guess I'll read like six and seven together and, uh, and then discuss those. And then, um, and after that dash, um, then I'll, I'll do the next one. So I'll stop at the dash and I'll let the dash be my, my end mark or my, my long pause and, and elaborate on that. Okay. And so in line six and seven, it says those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to God a ransom for him all right so let's uh see what um th these are saying to us it gives us a reference scripture to mark chapter 10 verse 24 mark 10 24 that says and the disciples were astonished at his words but Jesus answered again and said to them children how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. Now, this right here is like, what is Jesus talking about? So I'm going to have to read up so you can understand the gist of why Jesus said what he said. And, um, and so, and this is, you know, about the rich young ruler. And so I will read that uh, from 17 and I'll read 24 again and all the way until uh, 27. So I'll read 17 to 27. So just so we can understand exactly, you know, what Jesus is saying. Now, verse 24 does have a reference scripture to 1 Timothy. And we'll get to that uh, whenever uh, we finish discussing these verses here. Um, 17 and Mark 10. Now, as he was going out on the road, one came running, knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit into eternal life? So Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good, but one that is God. You know, the commandments do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear a false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. And he answered and said to him, teacher, all these I have observed from my youth, that Jesus looking at him, loved him and said to him, one thing you lack, go your way sell whatever you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come take up the cross and follow me but he was sad at this word and went away grieved for he had great possessions 23 then jesus looked around and said to his disciples how hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of god and the disciples were astonished at his words but Jesus answered again and said to them, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? But looking at them, Jesus said, With men it is impossible but, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Now, this is a profound, very profound statement that Jesus is saying. Now, he's not saying that rich people can't go to heaven. This is clearly not what he's saying, all right? But he's saying it's difficult for them to get in heaven. Why is it difficult for rich people to get into heaven? Well, because uh, a couple of reasons, or maybe the main reason is that, you know, um, first of all, this rich young ruler, he was, he did the law. He did everything that was commanded of him. All right. And then you have some rich people do good things and, and follow the laws of the land and, and, and follow these things. All right. But one thing that rich people lack or some rich people lack is that trusting fully in God for everything and so what happened is is that because they have riches because they have wealth 
And because they have money, they rely on that money to do things for them instead of God. All right. And so whenever Jesus told the rich young ruler, one thing you're lacking, okay, is that trust in God. You're not, tr you, yes, you're observing the things of God, but you're not fully committed to trusting in God to supply your ever need. And so if he had just sold everything, given it away to the poor, all right, and then followed Jesus by taking up his cross, all right, then he would have trusted God for everything. And then and knowing that because he has given everything, because he had given everything up in this world, he was going to have treasures in heaven. All right. And so, and, not, and Jesus, and, and don't get Jesus wrong. He's not saying either that just because you're poor and don't have riches that you're going to go to heaven. That's not what he's saying. There are going to be some poor people in hell and there are going to be some rich people in heaven. So don't get it twisted in what Jesus is actually saying. All right. And then so. Um, and he sends us, uh, Mark 24 sends us to 1 Timothy 6, 17. And so, and what we're going to do, let's break here. And then um, to be mindful of this time, because we're a little bit over. And then meet me in 1 Timothy chapter 6. 1 Timothy chapter 6.